At just 15, Elizabeth Alida Edward has lived through moments so dark and terrible that most could only imagine them. When she was two years old, a fire raised her home in Jalan Stutong, Kuching. She suffered 86% burns and inhalation injury. Her two older siblings, aged seven and five, died in the blaze. Muka dia, kulit muka dia, dia ambil bagian part-part sebelah kaki dia mana yang uh, ada sedikit kulit kan, uh, yang tu dia ambil untuk muka. Yang lain tu boleh katakan seluruhan badan dia memang tak ada kulit. Despite the multiple surgeries, Elizabeth was still very disfigured and suffered from various post burn injuries. Her hands were deformed while her left foot was often in pain, deterring her from attending school regularly. But things took a turn for the better this year. Elizabeth's doctor at the Sarawak General Hospital referred her to the Halim Burn Foundation. The Seoul-based non-commercial organisation has a medical charity programme for underprivileged child burn survivors from developing nations. Dia bagi tahu uh, awal bulan uh, ujung bulan 6 tu. Hmm, kita orang datang um, macam mana macam betul betul tak prepare betul betul tidak ready. Pasu saya pun macam rasin rasin pergi buat pasport apa apa semua ya buat pasport. Uh, terus dalam masa dalam masa satu minggu tu prepare. On July 10, Elizabeth was flown to South Korea for surgical intervention at the Halim University Medical Center. The hospital's burn center is the world's biggest special medical center for burn patients. <laughs> the days after the fire were the darkest for Elizabeth and her 42-year-old mother, M. Murni J. Mute, but the mother and daughter pushed through.